Hello and welcome to this edition of Jerusalem Dayline. I'm Chris Mitchell, coming to you this week from Jerusalem's largest open air market, Mahane Yehuda. It's full of sights and sounds. And later in the broadcast, Julie Stahl will be talking to some of the people here in the market. Well, first, Israel's former defense minister, Ehud Barak, had a stunning revelation that Israel almost attacked Iran's nuclear facilities three times in the past few years. According to revelations by Ehud Barak, he and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu were prepared to attack Iran three times between 2010 and 2012 when he served as defense minister. The revelations came when Israel's Channel 2 played audio recordings. In those recordings, Barak says that in 2010, he thought they had approval from government ministers for a strike on Iran. But he says two cabinet ministers, current Defense Minister Moshe Ayalon and current National Infrastructure Yuval Steinitz, backed down from the plan. Steinitz and Ya'alon questioned Barak's view of events and why the military censor allowed the recording to be played that revealed one of the country's deepest secrets. Many analysts wonder if there's some political motivation behind Barak's revelations. The recording came from interviews Barak conducted for a book about himself called My Life's Wars and was supposed to be off the record. The revelations come at a sensitive time when many wonder if Israel is still poised to attack Iran after the recent nuclear agreement. In the meantime, as members of Congress prepare to vote on the Iranian nuclear deal, the AP released the text of the secret agreement between Iran and the IAEA. It says Iran itself will provide photos, videos, and environmental samples to the IAEA from the Parchin military site. Parchin is the site where many believe Iran is developing a trigger for an atomic bomb. Iranian leaders and their proxies also continued their war of words against Israel. Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah said, We believe with certainty that Israel, this cancerous tumor, is headed for extinction, and that Palestine and Jerusalem will be returned to their people. And a media outlet associated with Iran's Revolutionary Guard released a video on YouTube showing an Iranian invasion of Jerusalem. As you can imagine, those revelations shook up Israel's politics, but also Israelis. Julie Stahl talked to some people here in the market about how Israel should deal with Iran. 